Yeah, I honestly feel this is too Because small. it's supposed to be wider, wider than this. To thing. allow and more the day, they try to close it up. Right. Because they prefer this sort of thing to pay more for the window. We oh. try to cut short so he do something. Ah, so this this foundation has to be pulled down, I yes. think. Yes. Because it, yes. it, it seems to have rotten away. Yes. Yes. Wow. Yeah, it's in the water. It is okay. very low. subscribe to the channel just so you do not miss any of the videos we upload on here right so now i have with me frank Asaria. he's a civil engineer and an architect he's been building houses for over 20 years so if a civil engineer wants to tell you about home construction and home purchase in ghana there's nothing in here that you want to even miss. You can't afford to miss anything in here. Hello, Frank. Yeah. Good to have you join us. I know you're working. You're very busy today, but thank you so much for dedicating your time to talk to us. Right. Now, Frank, you, you're doing a home inspection on this. It's a 12 units apartment, yes. right? I want, I want you to take us through what we are seeing here. I see, um, um, they've done some plastering work here and everything included. Talk to us about this particular unit. Thank you. Um, I want to take you to one of um, this newly construction building. Okay. You can see this stone lay on the wall. Right. The reason why this stone is being laid is that they are laying it to prevent water. Okay. We call it dampness. Okay. But uh, it seems that this one cannot prevent dampness. I see a number of people do this mm -hmm. in waterlogged areas. Sometimes in areas where there's salt in the soil they do this. And you're yeah. saying it won't even prevent the dampness. It will never ever prevent the dampness. Tell us more. Mostly what you need to do in the newly construction, we have materials introduced for dampness when you want to construct a building that needs to be installed right after the filling. Okay. And there is a way we need to do to protect your foundation before you do back filling. Okay. So when you skip that, that uh, procedure, mm -hmm. you will experience dampness all over your building. Yeah. So when you want to build, first of all, especially foundation, Okay. You need to do soil investigation to know the nature of your ground. That will determine the type of foundation you need to construct for your projects. And the project to things people don't put in consideration. Hmm. We have residential building and then we have commercial building. Wow. Every type of building with its foundation. Okay. That we escape a lot of people escape that. Mm -hmm. Instead of you to employ and a competent person to handle what you do, you go out, get ordinary people, maces and stuff to do that. Mm. So after the project is finished, you experience dampness mm -hmm. all over. Mm. That's what you do. So, so this property mm. is like you experience dampness with your property in some years coming. My business is that you'll end up spending more money. No, yes, it? yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. You end now because it affects the plastering of the wall. Yes. The block is a porous material. Mm. So the water gets climbing the wall gradually, gradually, and will lead you to the block. Right. If you go to the phone, I will show you by the side of the pillar. Okay. You see it then get well wet. Okay. And you continue experiencing it. So right. only before I realize all oh, your wall will go off. Okay. We a lot of estate developers are escaping to in introduce this mm -hmm. professional expertise to assist them mm -hmm. to how to, to protect your foundation from right. that. It okay. is better you protect it right from the foundation, from the foundation. than mm -hmm. waiting for the building to come to okay. finish before, other than you overspend so much mm -hmm. once constructed. Right. Yeah. Talk to us about the different types of foundation. Yes. Um, most of the time, what I've, ob I've observed in Ghana now, a lot of people are going on doing straight foundation. Okay. And I think it is wrong. Okay. Before you want to construct a foundation, mm -hmm. the first procedure is soil investigation. Okay. So you have to test your soil. Your soil okay. first. To know the type of soil, you know, our ground, you have some loamy soil, you have sandy soil, we have some, a whole lot of, just, we have clean land, a whole lot of them. So if you don't use soil test, how will you know that this foundation I'm putting on will be stable? There are stamp water underneath. Right. You put up your building, the weight is the letter you seen that the building been sinking, cracks and a whole lot of things happen right. to your building. Right. And most of the time too, they don't follow the building practice. Okay. When you go and they give you permit, there's procedure that you're supposed to go about. They don't they escape the procedure. Mm. There are high tax determining the foundation to go through that. Okay. People want to do a short work to avoid the filling. 
So okay. also that maybe your beauty is supposed to be about three feet, four feet or yeah. two. They escape it and they do foundation close to the ground. Right. The right way is that if you are constructed, you need your foundation needs to be above the road. Okay. About maximum, about, um, let me say, one, uh, let me say about um, 300 meters. Yeah. Oh. This is what, uh, um, let's say, 0 0.3 meter should be above or 0 0.45 meter so that you prevent any water from coming kind of into your building okay. right now. Yeah. yeah, so we've seen a lot of people going through these challenges. Okay. So if you can see this building right here that mm. we are about to do inspection, right. they've laid stone on the floor. Mm. You can see all over. Mm -hmm. Water must not come close to the wall. Okay. Yes, and you must, if you look at this water spout here, mm -hmm. it must, water must not come close to the building. It needs to be directed from the building. Right. It's supposed to go up underground. That would drive all the rainwater back mm -hmm. to or have a reserve. Okay underneath of the building right so i believe that that is the right way when you want to yeah. engage an expert or something you need to get an home inspector mm -hmm. involved with all your I, I, I can tell your 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 heart really lies in the foundation of the building mm -hmm. what is it about the foundation of a building that you know explains why we do not get it right for instance you see some people who start foundation for a single story or two story then they'll do that foundation for the two story but when they get to the top they'll think oh let me add two more stories then they go more higher talk to us about that too once you've done that you have to prepare yourself that you're going to jail okay the reason i'm saying that the building will collapse because you can design the structure to hold three story Right. Because if you want to put up a three story or four story, we have type of red bar that is reinforcement which we've been designed mm -hmm. to carry the weight of the structure. Okay, okay. And we need to know the type of the foundation need to be designed based on the structure. Mm -hmm. So when you do that, you have overweight mm -hmm. the structure. Okay. And we try, and if you didn't do so, invest, you can see your building being sink and okay. imbalance and you make the 14 ah. building so it is very difficult mm -hmm. when you finish two stories and add one so it's one of the mm. dangerous things that Thanks you need to, to be do. very careful okay so it's good you, in, you involve a home inspector okay. or every home to monitor your work right from the foundation, foundation stage because the foundation that carries the weight of all the right. structure right. the most of the time if you don't get it right after your building you have to be experienced cracks mm -hmm. Sink and a whole lot of challenges before in the structure. Let's now talk about the different types of soil. So maybe we could we could walk a, a, along a bit. So okay. sandy soil, clay soil. soil. This you said the soil we have luck is a clay soil pebble. No, I'm talking about before this one there's the after the, this one is a clean land. Okay. They've done the piling, we fill the ground mm. to a certain level. Right. So this one has been fixed, so we may not, but the ground itself is a clean soil. Okay. It's a clean land. A clean land, you need to do a soil to get the right nature of the ground so that in case you put your foundation, it will not be okay. sinking or right. moving. So that's a danger with building on a clean soil. On a clean soil. Okay. So if you are building, we have type of foundation, we have rough foundation you're supposed okay. to introduce. We have our foundation you're supposed right. to introduce okay. in the, such areas. Right. Because when you put block in clean foundation, it's since you are wasting your time, okay. you get an engineer to restructure the ground mm -hmm. because all the weight is transmitted mm -hmm. on the foundation. Okay. So it's very important that every structure you need to do an investigation, mm -hmm. involve um, a home inspector to assist in every procedure you take right. to avoid future uh, problems. Okay. Yeah. Now, there are some of our friends in the diaspora who are building in a brie on the Ebri mountains, and some of them are you know them very well, they prefer yeah. the the peak of the mountains yes what are five key things that people need to know when it comes to building on a rocky place or on a higher ground particularly in the mountains tell us about that number one put building in a real is very in the mountain land require a lot of money okay it's very very expensive if you don't have money don't buy land in the mountain, in the mountain yes, okay. because it involves a lot of funds. Because right. you need to get an expert to cut the foundation as a step based on their design of architectural design to get the step before you construct 
mm. a, a building in most of healing land you eventually have a basement right so if you escape and expect to cut all with a team of um and the, the machines are great that we have way to do all those steps so if you don't do that and then you go in with ordinary reasons and then you involve them you end up overspending right. on the foundation and later on you put pressure and you experience crack okay most in your building so okay. if you are building your building in mountainous, mountainous area, area you need to be very careful involve and expect engineers right. to assist you to design okay. before okay. you go and also right. you need to consider that no matter how hilly or rocky you need to make sure you do your soil test to know okay. the type of foundation Okay. Because the reason why I say it's expensive to build in Montreal, your, your ground, you need to retain your wall in some areas. Okay. But retain your wall takes a lot of money, you know, right. reinforcement and other right. things. Okay. So if you don't get an expert to, or home okay. inspector to okay. assist you with this, you will mm. finally get it wrong. Okay. So I advise okay. diaspora people, if you want to construct in the healing land or a mm -hmm. mountain in a brick area, a brick area, you need to get a home inspector or an inspector engineer to mm -hmm. assist you to do the writing. The or writing. else, or you, or you build and you get to a place you can't be able to right. go for right. it. All your strength to go, you okay. can't contain. Talk of to us aspect. about the kind of foundation you need to do for a house you're building in a mountainous area like a brick. Every land, you know, is a mountain land. Mm -hmm. Before you do a foundation, that is just I mentioned of that you need to do the soil. The soil test. Okay. We have become. We have power foundation. We have a uh, rough foundation. Right. We have so many uh, foundation that okay. it all determined by the nature the of the nature ground. The nature of the soil. Yourself, okay. That will determine the type of foundation. We right. have free foundation. We have a whole lot of. Okay. I get it. So all will determined by your soil test report. That will indicate how the type of foundation you need to put. How long does a soil test? take roughly they can take a day to do a soil test okay and a day or two after it because they do in different section of the building right. sometimes you may have it here the water may be you know so we have you can do it one section they can have the whole thing okay. or they might try to have in four okay. corners okay. so after that that will give them they will know the report, the water table level, where it's supposed to be, the type of ground, the nature of the soil. Okay. So you get report of every level right. of the soil that will determine how you can structure your foundation. Right, right. Now, Frank, I see something over there. Maybe we could go there and then talk about what we... Today we are doing a home inspection yes. with Frank. No, no. <laughs> right. No, no. So um, what's really happening over there? Probably what I can say is that... Mm -hmm. Mostly, uh, let me see. A lot of tenants refuse paying for bills. Okay. So the owner tried to put this pipe okay. on separate section for all the tenants in case you want to do washing or something. You can come in here okay. to do your washing. But I probably see that um, uh, it's not the right way of doing and it's to expose okay. and stuff so i don't think this is the best way to search into the right. area so i believe that most of the time if you are constructing a building like this or mm. something like that and this is an apartment unit for rental apartment for rental you need yes. a home inspector you need an engine architect to repost to assist you mm. how to position some of things like this mm. to help you have a finishing house right I so, so, so Frank is not happy with this. No, <laughs> he's not, not happy with what he is seeing what here. You can see mm. the wall mm. is in chow. Yes. You see, this is you are wasting a lot of money. Right. It's expensive mm. to prevent to, to spend a little to prevent dampness mm. than spending so much right. by buying the soil. It's expensive. Right. So I would I would advise anybody that if you want to construct a building in Ghana, mm -hmm. let involve an expert or mm. uh, and someone who is in, uh, expert in, in foundation in to foundation. advise you how to prevent dampness mm. right from the foundation. Right from the foundation. It is right. very, very important. Right. Frank, there are some house rooms that are very hot. Mm -hmm. And then I've, I've, I've read or I've come to experience or I, I have experience to share with regard to people who did not use expect and as a result of that they didn't position their buildings well yes so all of the sun hits <laughs> the building directly talk to us about positioning of buildings position of building fine mm. let's come this very if you can see from here right so robert wants to show us something uh -huh. here you see you see the window mm. sometimes you made mention of that you feel heat in the building yes 
it is advisable that when you construct a building, mm. everybody needs to have a fan light. You see the fan light? Mm. The purpose of the fan light is that it also brings light and bring airing into the place. Okay. But this one is sealed. Okay. So how do you have water? And most culture we have in Ghana, using this glass is not advisable for us. We are using it based on beautification. So Robert is not happy with these glasses that we've been using for our home. Our look, Ghana, mm -hmm. our, the nature of our type, we use, we normally use the loosest ones that okay. is airy but this one when you open oh it's just only one side that opens right. and the challenges we face is that mm. this building was designed the advantage of it mm. we how to position window is the number one key okay you can't position window here and mm. position why will you put your bed okay it is danger in case somebody want to harm you mm. it can be harmed so okay. you redesign your building and the windows in such a way that they, they can be air into, into no, you're building. the second engineer who has spoken about the kind of windows we use yeah. and the fact that it's better for for Guineans to use the louvers but now we want something more beautiful mm -hmm. so we're going for these windows so if you want to use this window right you have to plan that you need to have air condition so the moment you are building like this time to pay ECG more money, more money because you'll be using a lot of, a lot of money electricity to cool your, the, yes. your building. So budget heavily for your electricity bills because you want beautiful windows. And another thing that creates heat in the building mm. is the height. Okay. True. Some houses, some apartments, the moment you enter, the ceilings are so low. Okay. Yeah, because yesterday I went to see a certain French house. Right. When I entered the house, no. So as you said, the place is too hot. Right. And I see they need a lot of things to be done in their right. building. It's okay. So if you have a very low building and you see the nature of our ground and there are type of material you don't supposed to use in terms of um people use nowadays T and J. You know, there are some of T and J you don't require in your building. It creates heat, the nature of our right our distance you don't need those things okay. it creates heat okay so you need to have a higher mm -hmm. height at least three to three point one or three point three meter high ceiling okay so that the place can be airy okay with regard to heat now there are some people who are using very creative means to mm -hmm. ensure that the rooms are not too hot it's mm -hmm. hot in ghana mm -hmm. what do you have to say with regard to using of race for building Bricks mm. in those days is used because there was no block like this. Mm -hmm. Bricks is always used. Right. But bricks is good, but it's also have a limited time because I've experienced mm. bricks that they've used for some building in Valley View. Mm. I've seen it that with time you get if you don't get it's not well manufactured. Mm. But using bricks, you might think it's very but it's expensive. Okay. Bricks are a little bit expensive. It's okay. cold regards to cold weather, but I don't think it will take away the heat regards to our mm. condition. Okay. Same as these blocks that we are using. The yeah. most in the nature of the way, if you go to Dubai, look at their weather. Mm -hmm. Okay, very hot. Very hot. Yeah. So every part of their building, they insist that you need to have air condition. Okay. It's part of their uh, building practice. Right, right, right. Robert, um, uh, Frank, and um, let's go to one of the rooms. Mm -hmm. Today, I'm doing the home inspection with mm -hmm. you. So let's go to one of the rooms. Come with us. Let's go to one of the rooms and see what we have in there. So we have spoken largely mm -hmm. about foundations and everything in between. Mm -hmm. Come with us. Come. We are here now. Let's get into this unit. Remember, it's a 12-unit apartment. So we'll get into this. It's a two-bedroom house, right? Yes. So we'll get into it and Frank will do his assessment of what he sees here. Okay. If the client want to give it out for rentals, but yeah. first of all, you want to ensure that things are done right. Okay. But um, for now, we are going to be running the inspections to know before we we'll come back later to come and do the proper make yeah, sure things that we want to in place to be checked. The light is off. Okay. Most we check the light, we check the pressure. Is it uh, all the light is off? Okay. This is for fun, it's not been fixed. We okay. check the socket. We ensure the TV cables, we check the power mm. to ensure if it's working well. Right. We check the lighting system, we switch the lighting system, the fan, we regulate to see if the fan is working well. Right. Uh, those are some of the things we check. Okay. 
Yeah. Is it is the size of the window okay? The size of the window is supposed to be higher, yeah, but then um, the so client too. choose to do it this way. Most of the time, the client refuses to listen to the advice of the architect mm -hmm. or to follow. They don't follow the building practice. Right. But it's yeah, I honestly room. feel this is too because small. Because it's supposed to be wider. Wider. Than this. To the, allow and more the, they, they try to close it up right. because they prefer instead of him to pay more for the window oh. he try to cut short so he do something ah so the the property owner wanted to cut on cost of buying you know the glass or the frame for the window so they had to cut on the size or the opening for the window mm -hmm. to cut on cost and yeah. frank is not happy with it so i believe that it's supposed to be wider, have been wider all right. this place is supposed to be okay. wider okay to, Bring airing into the building. A lot of air into mm -hmm. the building. Okay. So Frank, so that's a dining area. Mm -hmm. That's the main hall. Mm -hmm. Which other place again? Yeah. Would you mostly, like to check? Well, we do inspection. We check everything. Mm -hmm. We do inspection on the door to ensure okay. if the door is being locked. Okay. We check. Um, the, I told you it's initial. We check the air condition, but. Okay. All this all, all, all we inspect all. Are you happy with the windows? There's a window here. This, this is a bedroom. This is a bedroom. Okay. Yeah, it's a bedroom. Uh, is the size of the window okay? This is a small room. I think it's okay. The reason why the position of this is good. Mm. One will bring one, one there is heat, one will be taking out heat, okay. and one will be airy. So this is how you're supposed to position your window. Okay. Okay. So, so let, let's let's get over here just so mm -hmm. they can see it well. So here are two windows, and yes. Frank is happy with the fact that there are two windows here. You're saying it will help with the with the airing aspect of, of it. Okay. In case there is heat, one will be taking the heat out, okay. the air will be circulating, oh. the air will be circulating in the building. Okay, right, right. So so that's it with the um, you know allowing for more air in mm. and out. Of her room. So, are you by this therefore saying that it's not advisable for you to have just one window in your bedroom? It's not advisable. Okay. Because you it creates heat in the building. Okay. You have a heat, or you create a heat. You need a, a heat extractor. Okay. In some position, because one window is not advisable. Or you have to get an air condition. Okay. You have to on air condition every day. Every day. And you have to know the cost you are going to pay if you put your okay. one window. So are you the, happy with the ceiling of this building? The ceiling is so not simple. That's what the height. The height. The height is okay. Okay. But mostly, I prefer my height to be higher than this. Than this, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, I prefer my height to be higher than this. That is the client's requirement. The client want okay. because when you finish the the, the structure, the PO people also come. They have their height that they also take. Okay. So as long as you don't include the POP, they are designed high into your, your design. Right. When they come doing their POP, you can see it reduces the height uh, okay. that you, you want. It brings the height down, down further. further. So you have to go higher so that when the POP guys do their work, right. there's still some space. That does see some space. It's like even an allowance for your drinks. Uh, yes. Okay. So this is a temporary, okay. uh, temporary inspection. Okay. Things are not in place to be checked. The windows right. are checked. The closing, if it is close, well, we check the locks. Okay. I, that is, we, okay. The air condition is not fixed. We need to call the air condition to ensure that it's working perfectly. Right. Okay. Um, let's go to the washroom. Okay. This is the bedroom. Okay. That is not part of it. So let's go to the washroom now. Mm -hmm. Let me tell okay. you brief about this. What is done when you rain or when you bath, right. all the water can return here, even the opening of the doors like this. Okay. Because the space is too small, I prefer the door should be open. Okay, it have, should it should come, come this way rather than going inside. Going inside. Okay. Now you need a dwarf wall here. Okay. You need a bath curtain because you are ready for rain showers. In case you bath, the water may not. It because the level is the same. It's the same because it didn't right. take more past gradients. Oh. So all the water will come back here. So I think that is not a perfect way of. If you are bathing in a room like this, you have to take, take precaution. When you 
take one water, then you wait for five minutes, then you use another water again. So at least in one eye, uh, you'll be done laughing, else all the water will come here. Can you imagine? Mm -hmm. Frank is not happy with the level of tiling in this bathroom. I have seen bathrooms with doors like this too, and they end up rusting. Frank, talk to us about that. Now there is modernization now. Right. For years, this is all, we have a flash door, which is being designed for bathroom. Right. And now, because of technology, some are opening, they prefer using this one a bit. Now I prefer the more than the glass one to be used because it's a glass. Mm -hmm. So when the water splashes, it may not damage the door. The door. Okay. So I recommend that we use the, the modernization glass one in the okay. washroom area due to bathroom. Okay. Okay, so that's for the bathroom, and I think this is going to be for the toilet seat. You see, it's not, it's not fixed yet. Okay. The shower stool is not fixed. Okay. We check the pressure of the water. Of the water. Everything is being checked. We check the sink is not fixed. Okay. All these things are being checked. We check the kitchen. Okay. Sink is being not. We can go to the kitchen to recover okay. the inspection. So this is, I think, this is the master bedroom. Okay. Mm -hmm. So things are not completely here for us to inspect. Okay. And you want to give it out, but, oh, but this this room has three windows. Huh? Good. This is big. Good. One, two, three. Yes. Okay. You see, you, see, you can fill the area. Yeah, that's inside. A, so this place is area than yes. the other room. Right. Right. I think. Okay. So you can fill without fun. You can fill the place that is airy into the building. Okay. So okay. this is a master bedroom. Okay. So, you can see that there's the bathroom. Oh, okay. You see? Right. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. I think something has, has fallen. Let me let me just get it for you. Okay, so let's go. Let's go. Yeah. You see? The toilet is not being fixed. Okay. So how do we check? Okay. So but this is temporary, as I said, we yes. told them that there are things that need to be positioned mm -hmm. before we come and do the proper oh, assessment. But are you happy bedroom. with this bathroom? Because over there there wasn't any block to prevent. It's something like this when we need to provide a real mm. the glass to the glass, you can right. come in. But I think the height is a little bit higher. Right. I get it. Okay. So when you bath the water almost go out. Must they have a floor break in case there's right. any floor water speed out can go through. Yeah. Okay. So I think this is a little bit. So open. Frank Frank likes this one. Here they yeah, to take you ten minutes to shower. The other place there, yeah, five hours. Five hours. <laughs> so this is a temporary inspection okay. that we need things to be in place mm. before we we'll come and do the, the final the inspection. final inspection. Because yeah. then we can see all showers is no fix, no mm. water in the building to do the assessment. So okay. these are a few assessments that um, we may have for us. Okay. So we can go to the kitchen. Okay. So come with us to the kitchen. kitchen. The kitchen is here. Let's see. Position of this. Okay. Assume you have a kid at home. Okay. And certain things like this. It is dangerous to position things like this. Okay. As you are not that run they play with this. You, what what would you position. rather be done? Should it have been taken up? up, up oh. How the position of it is wrong. Right. Look at how this place is left. All need to be covered. We do right. all inspection on this. We also clean the main switch we check okay. all if it's been properly. Perfect. We inspect all this in case and we are buying it. Should have gone up. Yeah, so okay. we assess all this to ensure okay. that everything is done perfectly. Yeah. And hmm. oh okay, so that's the kitchen. That's the kitchen. Come come to the kitchen where all the delicious meals to be made. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can see the kitchen too is not complete, it's under construction. Right. You can see the sink too is not mm. fixed. Okay. To be checked. Right. Yeah, we check the water pressure mm. and all things are not being fixed. Okay. No cooking thing. We check all those things which is not in place. Um, but I, are you happy with this kitchen? Yeah, it's nice. You see, there's no light. Okay. We check all these things. Uh -huh. Okay. So that is what we do okay. as a home inspector. But this kitchen has a lot of air in here. Are you happy with that? Yes, because it's just the two windows. Okay. Yeah, two windows. Two okay. windows. Yeah. Okay. Mostly, if you have one window. I'll advise you have a 
um, the kitchen, the heat extractor that we normally put okay. in behind the window, right? So that you take away the cook, it takes away the heat. The heat. Okay. So we do this home inspection to ensure there are a lot of things that are mm -hmm. into it, but mm -hmm. because it is not completely oh, um, finished, finished, you can't tell. We can okay. yeah, we have um, uh, informed the owner to put mm -hmm. this in place mm -hmm. before we do the final inspections. Okay. Uh -huh. This okay. is just a temporary inspection. Okay. We are doing because lighting are not being fixed to know right. if the light is being on properly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you're happy with the tiling and everything? Um, the tiling precisely is not part of uh, the building school. We okay. don't expect that. But once we are in as a professional, you need to ensure that the tiling is being done. Fine. Okay. Mm. There's this woman who has done some 50 unit apartments. The apartment is just about six months old and all her tiles are lifting. This is a serious issue. The tiles keep lifting. Not just in one room. And, and I think the sun is also a part of it. What do you think went wrong with that woman's apartment? 50 unit apartment. It's not been even six months after construction. And the tiles are already lifting. What went wrong? What I may say about this is that maybe if you don't have ink properly, the material not properly mixed, or there is no cement or chemical, you have chemical that's supposed to put in place to hold the tiles. If the place is not well prepared and right. other things are not put in right, and mostly people employ tiles without involving an expert to monitor to ensure or home in fact to ensure that are they doing the right, the right thing. thing? Okay. Maybe they use less cement, less chemical, so it's not able to be at health to the ground. Mm -hmm. It would refuse months or some like that. You mm -hmm. see so it getting lifting, lifting, and it, there are cracks. They are cracking. They are cracking yeah. as well. They are cracking okay. as well, and mostly to what also maybe part of the mortar did not spread oh, all over oh, the town. Evenly. It, okay. Yeah, evenly. It, it is not evenly when it's tall. It can fuel the crack in some portions. There are some. There are some um, units. The moment you step in, the tiles are. They are not. They make sound. Sound. Yes. Because, they are not. It's the, the, firmly yeah. fixed to the ground. So the moment you step in, you can hear the sound. Yes. In such houses when you're walking, you have to be very careful because if because you are not careful, mm, you just fall. Yes, because it's not done properly. Right. No, nobody is monitoring them. Right. So that is why we advise that you need an home inspector mm. in every section or every state of your work of the work to be monitoring any state or anybody who employed to work for you right. to ensure that the right thing is being done. Is that? We saw something that we would like to share with you. Mm -hmm. Now look at the buildings we have over here. Frank, it looks like we're on a waterlogged land. Yes. What can you tell us about this place? This is the main drainage here. Okay. When it's wet heavily, all the water gets flooded and this house gets Field. you can't okay. see the house right and this is what we used to complain every time that when you want to build a house you need to call an expert to do an investigation to determine to mm -hmm. tell you the how to build your house okay how can you build your house lower than the major drain okay if so let, let's let in, the camera just pan and let me show you something over there is the drain mm -hmm. Okay, it's a drain. Mm -hmm. So compare the level of that drain to the level of the ground that we are standing on now. Look at the level of the ground that we are standing on now. So Frank, you were saying something about the fact that the, the level is too low. The mm -hmm. houses over here, the levels are, and you can see from the walls, mm -hmm. the, the water level, anytime water it rains. Level, anytime it rains here, right. it evacuates everybody from the property. So, so anytime it rains, the people here they run away from they the run houses. away from the houses. And when the when, when the rains, water dries up, and then they they return back. What kind of living is that? Anytime it rains, you run away from your house. When the water comes down, then you come back to the house. Wow. We try to advise anybody that mm -hmm. in such situation like this, this building needs to be demolished, and you need to raise it higher above the ground level. Right. In case of this, you need to know that there is a building right opposite. Right. You can see the height of this 
building yeah. is above the water level. Right. All this place gets flooded, but it's difficult for the water to get into this apartment into, because okay. the foundation was raised, raised a lot higher, higher than the river. Okay. So, and even though there is other problem with I could see here, look at the shoddy work that is being done here. Right. Look at maybe the we should get water. closer. Let's so come with us. Come with us. You need to see this. I don't want you to do the same mistake. So please come. Come, Let's come, go come. here and have a look at something here. Come. Frank wants you to know everything. And this is the work he does as a breeze home inspection Ghana. So come. You see what we've been talking about? See? Okay. Wow. You see the water? It gets rainy. You see? Oh. And the danger aspect of it. You know, all the most when we do the electrical work, it's passed through below okay. the ground. Right. So imagine if you live in this apartment, the lead right. there is power on. What do you think is going to happen to you? Right. You so see, dangerous. So the house is very low. So so dangerous. So I'll advise anybody that in such situation like this, this house needs to be re demolished. Fine. Do not spend money to do any alteration. This this foundation has to be pulled down. I yes. think. Yes. Yes. Because it, yes. it, it seems to have rotten away. Yes. Yes wow yeah it's in the water it is okay. very low wow. and as i said briefly previously i was trying to talk to you about mm. building on water lock area okay these are not type of foundation to be done okay right i get it we need to do a sorry to know how you can structure your foundation mm. when you mm. put a block in your foundation you are wasting you your are wasting money. your so this is this is wasted funds wasted funds you saved your monthly salary to do a foundation, a foundation no and you've wasted, wasted your money wasted it Frank, look, at look at this wall look at this wall look at this wall this is all water i believe that's the water so it means that's that any time it rains here the this water is the level of the water comes to this level to the, that's the window come to the level of comes the window to the level of, so this house is deserted or there's nobody in this house all the people living in this house they've left here they've left they are waiting for the water when it is rainy season they go and after the, the dry dry season and then they return back to the apartment right but as i speak to you there are people in there right. maybe they've gone out mm. but it's not safe it is not safe it's it is not, not safe, safe. Right. but as i speak to you now mm. i believe that um the the owner is living in the diaspora okay instead of him to involve an engineer mm -hmm. or architect to advise him to what to On do the right thing to do he's Did not do it? involving okay. them and he has employed mason to be laying blocks hmm. i don't know whether he's going to fill in them i don't know what exactly he's going to do hmm. this is all we've been saying and hmm. we need the people to follow the building practice in ghana okay we have a building code we need right. an inspector to go around mm -hmm. and inspect such things which mm -hmm. need to be pulled down okay because it's it's dangerous for it's the people dangerous living for the help of people to what live do in. you think would happen to this building in the next five to ten years in the next five to ten the building will collapse okay the bridge, because all the water has entering the wall okay. gradually is weakening the, the structure okay. gradually is weakening the structure right. weakening the structure right so i would advise anybody to pull build in the water area the water locked area you need an expert to advise you advise then you. wasting your money and realize that all you've done you have just nobody was there to direct you to do the right thing. right frank okay so that's frank civil engineer and architect from sabri's Sabri home inspection ghana talking to you about everything you need to know with regard to building in a waterlocked area don't build a house that would require you to run away from your own house anytime mm -hmm. it rains so anytime it rains you run away and then you go and hide somewhere and when the rain subside before you can move into your house why do you waste your money when you when when in that sense you can just get an aspect walk you through the right process to ensure you do not waste your money at the end of the day well that's all we have for you we'll see you in our next video do also subscribe for more bye